Hello RuneScape, we'll miss it here with a new video on how is everyone doing. It's no secret that throughout the history of RuneScape, thousands of items have come and gone, some of which are no longer to obtain but still exist in some player's banks. And likewise, with the introduction of titles in 2013, some players hold titles that are a lot less common than others. With incredible help from you guys, as well as your RuneScape game analyst mod Lottie, we've been able to collect a list of the 10 rarest items and titles in RuneScape. Before we head into the list, I just want to point out that in this video, a rare item or title is considered to be gained by the player through legitimate means, either by game mechanics or as granted by Jagex. This means that any items gained through bugs such as smuggling or items the player is not normally supposed to get such as tutorial items, dungeoneering items and any unique baby troll names are not considered rare items and are therefore not on this list. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 10 is somewhat ironic as it has for years been known as the rarest item in the game, the Warship. This piece of golden history was only obtainable during RuneScape Classic, it was hidden away in the gnome stronghold and served no purpose whatsoever. Because of this, no player had any reason to collect them which is why it was assumed to be the rarest item in the game. However today, currently 178 active players are proud owners of the warship with a total quantity of 1551 warships shared between them. This makes the warship the 8th rarest item in RuneScape, beaten only by 7 other items you'll get to know about shortly. Number 9. The Jack of All Trades title After 9 months in the game, only 150 players have been able to obtain this title, which requires all 19 skilling pets, making this a rare sight in the game. The first person to obtain this title, Mr. Blob, aka Neil, spent nearly 2 months before I was this lucky, suggesting this title will remain rare for quite a while longer. Number 8. The excellent title. This title was obtained by being one of the top 102 Jadinko egg collectors during the 2015 Easter event. The title was originally meant to only be handed out to the top 100, but due to a hiccup with some missing data, 102 players ended up keeping one of the rarest titles in the game. Number 7. The Golden Gnome. This handsome little man was released in 2014 as an in-game follower for the winners of a Golden Gnome Award at RuneFest. As of RuneFest 2016, 66 players hold a pet in-game, a number which surely will rise with the next Golden Gnome Awards at RuneFest being held September 2017. However, in addition to the pet, each winner was given a Golden Gnome hat which all look alike, except that the year in which the gnome was won is displayed on the forehead of the hat. Because of this minor detail, the Golden Gnome hat from 2010 and 2011 rank as the second and the third rarest item in the game with only 6 owners each. Number 6. Sea Slug. <laughs> you probably didn't know this one existed, did you? Because I really didn't before I started research on this video. Between the years of 2002 and 2006, there was a part during the quest Sea Slug where the NPC Kent would knock off a Sea Slug from the player. If you used a telekinetic grab spell on the slug, you would actually be able to take it in as an item. Very few players were aware of this trick, as today only 43 active players own at least one of the 112 slugs stored up in player banks, being the 6th rarest item in RuneScape. Number 5. Golden Scythe Released during RuneFest 2011, the first 25 players to complete a Deathcon 2 event were awarded with a special code granting them one of the 25 Golden Scythes in-game. There is a rumor floating around that one of the owners have since been banned, meaning only 24 golden sites remain, giving it the spot of the 5th rarest item in RuneScape. Number 4. The Broken Plate This one is actually kind of tough on me personally because I remember these from back in the days, so obviously I don't have one anymore but anyone who does is seriously a really lucky person. Released in 2005, the Broken Plate could be obtained by buying a spinning plate from Diango's toy store in Draenor Village and playing with the toy. At random, the plate would fall off the stick and smash on the ground, creating the broken plate. Obviously, this was an item which served no purpose whatsoever, which is why the majority of the players discarded it when they got it, and it was later discontinued sometime in 2006 or 2007. However, today there is a total quantity of 184 broken plates in the active player base, shared across only 19 owners, making it the rarest item in the game that has been obtainable by normal game mechanics, and the fourth rarest item all time. Number 3. The Robotically Efficient Title During Game Blast 2016, players could bid on a number of items during a live auction on eBay hosted by Jagex. The money used to purchase these items would be donated to the special effect charity which Jagex were supporting that year. One of the many items you could purchase was a custom title specially created for the highest bidder. 
the player E won the title, spending a total of £1,550, equal to $2,200 at the time. Being able to choose anything, E chose the title to be called robotically efficient, referencing a joke that Mod Balance made on Reddit after their antibody software Botwatch accidentally mistook E for a bot and banned him due to his ridiculously efficient skilling. The issue was obviously sorted out, and even if it cost him quite a lot of money, E managed to get himself the title he deserved, being the only owner of that title. Number 2. Questival King or Queen Title when RuneScape hit their 200th quest in 2015, they celebrated with the best quester competition, being a 24-hour race to get as many quest points as possible. The winner, Quester, won the competition with his tube account Quester V2, scraping together 279 quest points and with that won the ultimate quester title to his main account. The title was however shortly changed to become Questival King and Quester is the only owner of the title in the game. Now aren't we excited for the number one? I'm sure there are quite a lot of you with some speculations on what the number one might be, but before we get that far, I'd like to do some honorable mentions. First off is the Crown of Supremacy. Being a cosmetic item, only the current winner of a seasonal high score could hold this crown. As they could only keep it for one to two weeks before being passed on to the next owner, there was never really a high number of players who could show off the crown, and because of this, there are currently zero owners in the game. However, since it's been over a year since the previous seasonal high score was hosted, the Crown of Supremacy is considered a discontinued item, and with no owners, it is by my definition not a rare item and is therefore not on this list. My final honorable mention, and this one is really important actually to avoid arguing in the comment section, I want to mention Hasselmere's Signet Ring. Because this item was somewhat recently released and is the main reward in the current ongoing witch hunt, there is a reason to believe that this item will raise sky high in quantity once it is discovered how to obtain it. To make sure this list stays relevant for as long as possible, I decided not to feature the ring as one of the 10 items on this list. And finally, the rarest item in RuneScape is owned by none other than Gaz Lloyd, the owner of the RuneScape wiki, and is called the Wikian Book. Released late 2016, the book was created to show appreciation towards the hard-working volunteers of the RuneScape wiki. When the book is used on a player, it will grant that player a special title called the Wikian. Even though who gets the title is decided by a team through voting, the wiki owner Gaz Lloyd is the only player who can actually grant the title to somebody else, also making him the only normal player who can hand out titles. As of this video, only 121 players are lucky owners of the Wikian title, making it the fourth rarest title in the game. Like the Golden Gnome Hats, I decided it'd be better to mention that here instead of giving it its own spot on the list. And that's it! If you found this video interesting and want more like it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Once again, a huge thanks to Mod Lottie who was able to share some amazing information on the rarest items in the game. Head over to Twitter and give that legend a follow. Also, if you're interested in the stats of some of the items and tiles that didn't make the list, check out my pinned comment below, it holds even more information that Mod Lottie could provide us. Thanks a lot for watching guys, my name is Wolmisit and I'll see you guys later.